What is up Kilo Crew? Welcome to another video. Today I want to kick off a new series in which I hit up fast food restaurants and do 10,000 calorie challenges off of their menu. Today to kick this off I wanted to go to Jack in the Box. They have some new stuff that I've been eyeballing including those new loaded fries and some stuff off their late night snack menu. Definitely want to hit it up. I will be heading that way shortly. I'm excited to just smash 10,000 calories worth of the good old Jack. I will see you when the food is back here and I hope you guys enjoy this new series. Kilo Crew and welcome to another challenge video. This is the 10,000 calorie Jack in the Box menu challenge. What I have in front of me is extensive, roughly 10,000 calories worth of food here. I'm really excited to dig in. It also happens to be National Cheeseburger Day. Coincidence? I think not. As I work my way through this, I'm gonna give myself I think I can do this in 45 minutes. As I work my way through this, I will go ahead and review some of the new items I'm trying, let you know how they taste. I will get the timer started in just a moment. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and put the nutrition for you up on the screen. And we'll get this challenge started in just a minute. I'm gonna organize this a little bit better before I dig in. Okay, so I have everything organized in front of me. Like I said, I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to do this. I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna get stuck in. Here we go. All right, let's start with something new to me. I'm going to start with the chicken tater melt, which is a new like croissant item. It's got bacon, a hash brown, and a chicken patty on a croissant, and all sorts of like gravy. Let's try it. That's quite nice. The sauce is really good. Bacon is cooked well. Hash brown <clears throat> is nice and crispy. Next, we will compare chicken to chicken. This is the new really big chicken sandwich. That's actually the name of it. The really big chicken sandwich. This has cheese and bacon on it as well, but it's on a normal bun. I like the chicken patty on here, but the chicken tater one was a lot better. The sauce and the hash brown on the chicken tater, sublime. A good amount of mayo though. Next up, I went ahead and got two jumbo jacks with cheese. It was a deal, it was like two for five. And being National Cheeseburger Day, I figured I had to get at least two cheeseburgers. It's just the usual jumbo jack. Let's give it a shot. Get rid of this paper. Good amount of sauce. I like that there's pickles. This reminds me of what a big and tasty used to look or taste like at McDonald's. But as you can see, it seems like gripping. That's perfect. I like stuff really saucy. So far, everything's been really good, and I would get it again. Jack in the Box always comes through. And they got my order right the first time. Which you can't say about a lot, a lot of other places. Next up, I've had this before. It's just a supreme breakfast croissant. Breakfast is my favorite meal, so I had to do it. I forgot to bring ketchup over. Oh well. This got a little cold, and eggs are never very good cold, so I'll probably do the next breakfast sandwich. Thank you. 
Okay, this one is now the sausage breakfast croissant witch thing. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, I can never remember it, but it's a breakfast croissant sausage this time instead of ham. I've never been a big breakfast sausage fan, unless it's covered in syrup, but this ain't bad. Definitely know, let me know <clears throat> what the next fast food restaurant you want me to do a 10,000 calorie challenge at is. Note, I do not have Popeye's, Chick-fil-A, or In-N-Out near me. Or Jollibee. Let's do this last Jumbo Jack. I hate raw onion. I don't think I'm gonna eat that. There we go. They sauced this to perfection. I like it when they're like really drippy. That's what sets apart like a fast food burger from a gourmet burger to me. So this is almost on the level of gourmet. The last of the burgers. This has been delightful so far. Let's do something a little sweet. Something I wanted to try because I had something similar at Taco Bell uh, was like churros or cinnamon flavored stuff. So they had mini churros at Jack and Box. So I'll go ahead and dump them on my platter here. They give you five. They look kind of sad, not very sugared. Come on. Well, that's taking too long. It ain't happening. Sorry, I'll do it on this camera. There we go. All right, not very sugared, but let's see how they taste. I like churros, but that's not good at all. They're not enough sugar. The middle is almost raw. Outside's kind of burnt. I'm just gonna power through these. I love churros, but this is a, this is a miss. 10 out of 10, don't recommend. That's too bad, I was looking forward to this. All right, let's keep up the Spanish theme a little bit. I love Jack in the Box tacos, had to get them. Can't beat the deal either. Two for $1.19. I will say though, this time around, they kind of greased up a bit. Last item on the platter. Yeah, there's just something about the crunch on the outside of these tacos. Amazing. This is an Oreo shake. That's good. Mm. Not by the taco. Put this platter out of the way. What next? What next? I'll do a little more shake. That was pretty refreshing. I better get the cherry before it gets too low. <laughs> That shake is really good. That's bringing me to life. Lots of salt can sometimes just really shut you down, so. All right, next up, I'm gonna go for the bacon cheddar loaded fries. And wow, that is loaded. Remember how I said I like sauce? This might be where they went too far. That's a bit excessive. So this is the cheddar and bacon fully loaded fries. Uh, the other one is steak and Parmesan. I was not expecting there to be that much sauce because that makes the fries soggy. And you guys know me in texture, so this could be a rough battle. Yeah. The best part about Jack in the Box fries is that they're crispy. At least their curly fries are. This just turned this into a soggy, mushy mess. Got to power through though. Even though it's gross. Got quite a lot of weight to them, <laughs> but they ought to. Each of these is like, I think it was 800 and some odd calories when they glanced. That's calorie dense right there. I would pass on these unless you like soggy fries. I'd have to say my favorite thing so far is between just the classic jumbo jack with cheese and that chicken tater melt thing. That was incredible. I'm wishing I had only gotten one of these, but I wanted to try them both. Ugh. Rogue random regular fry in there. Ugh. Near in the end. Ugh. Last bite, thank God. Oof. Let's have some more shake. That's what brought me to life last time. Mm, that is just so good. 
really thick though, as Oreo shake should be. So I had had big plans to use all of this ranch. They gave me a bunch of buttermilk ranch and like use it on the fries. Three of these packets here. And I had intended that to be part of the 10,000 calories because I was planning on using it. So it'll be just shy of 10,000 calories for this challenge and I'll reflect that on the screen where I showed you the nutrition. All right, let's try some of this New York style cheesecake. Weird, it's kind of warm, which scares me a little bit because it's cheesecake and it's definitely supposed to be really cold. Not the best. I will say the crumb layer on the bottom is really nice, but the top, maybe if it was like, maybe if I'd put this in the freezer when I got home for like 10 minutes, it'd be better. But yeah, it's kind of warm. That's that for the cheesecake. Ugh. I've just got the rest of this shake, these fries, and this extreme brownie left to go. And then this Diet Coke, but that's not really part of the calories. <coughs> oh, I hope these are less soggy. That was really unappetizing with the last one. Oh, these look a little bit better, although the steak looks a little suspect. Let me show you. It's like more of the white gravy, which I'm assuming is Parmesan, and the steak chunks are kind of interesting looking. Hmm. To try it. Chewy. Well, luckily there's not as much sauce, but the fries are still very soggy. I will say these are better than the bacon cheddar ones though. So if you do go and you want to give this a shot, which I don't recommend, try the steak parmesan over the cheddar bacon. That shake is a lifesaver. Palate cleanser between this nastiness. I should be fair, it's not nasty. When you get to a certain level of contentment, stuff starts to taste less good. And this is just starting to taste like salt and mush. Oh, I got 15 minutes. I gotta kinda hurry. First time I've worn jeans in a while. I didn't do the top button. That's better. Oh, I can like feel it slide into the bottom belly. Wow, look at this fry. Ooh. That's gonna be a record. <laughs> it's gonna be soggy and gross, but that's long. Here we go. sad because they're so soggy I can't even dip them in my shake. Oh, son. Just a handful of bites left. I'm not worried about the cake and the shake. It's just these fries are really... You all know me in texture. Take a shot every time I say it. I how much I got left. Oh, that's bad. Ugh, it saved me forever just to eat these fries. <laughs> Get through it. Hmm. Um. Mm. Okay, now I can enjoy it myself. This is the, I think, chocolate overload cake. No, it's kind of hard to see because I got a brown table. But it looks like a little mini bunt cake. Kind of heavy. Tastes like chocolate birthday cake. Go all in mode. Since I couldn't dip the fries, at least I can dip the cake. And this actually isn't bad. It tastes like a good chocolate birthday cake. Which I'm surprised I'm enjoying this since I ate so many brownies last week. <laughs> Gotta redeem myself though after that 10,000 subscriber special. I filled that pretty hard. I probably should have waited to refilm that. My stomach was still really upset when I tried it again. 
Oh well, no excuses. My own fault, but hopefully this is redemption. And all the nutrition info is on Jack in the Box website, so you know I'm not BSing you on how much food is required to hit 10,000 calories. Oh well. Alright, let's power through the rest of this shake. Call it a challenge. Kinda nice to win. <laughs> That is it. Ugh. All right, so 38.04 for that one. <sighs> All right, so that was one of the more enjoyable challenges I have done. I am admittedly quite full after this one, but this one was a lot easier than the last one I did just because there was less sugar, although the salt and the fats are gonna be rough later. But this was a very enjoyable challenge. I would recommend giving everything a try other than the loaded fries and then the cheesecake I would maybe pop in the freezer for a while because that was a little sketchy. Otherwise, the chicken tater melt thing was really good and just the classic old jumbo jack. Anyways, please be sure to like this video if you liked and remember to subscribe so you can see more stuff like this. Ta-ta!